Well, full admission here, I picked up some bad habits during the pandemic. I'm sure you have too. Eating too many unhealthy foods, not getting enough exercise, and becoming too stressed. And we've got Joy Milner. She is here to help. She is co-founder and co-director of the nonprofit Fit and Food Connection. Good morning, Joy, and thanks so much for joining us with this help. Good morning, John. It's so happy to be here. Yeah. First off, let's begin. What is Fit and Food Connection? So my partner, Gabby Cole, and I basically decided to help our community and start a nonprofit. We go out into low-income communities and we get people healthy for free. We are mostly all volunteer-based organization. All of our services are free. Uh, through this pandemic, through holidays, through life, through stress, we provide holistic wellness services, how to think positively, how to sleep better, how to eat better, how to exercise, uh, and how to reduce stress, which we all need, I know. And it's even more of an issue for folks who are in some of these so-called food deserts. Correct. That's where we focus on our food and fitness deserts throughout St. Louis and all of these people, especially through the pandemic and just in life in general, that just don't have access to education and wellness offerings and all these things that really make us feel better and just get more confident in life and, and just make us overall so much better. Okay. And they all go together. You, you talk about stress, uh, not eating nutritious foods and not getting enough exercise. I always say if you get enough exercise, your stress levels are reduced. And that's a great point, and that's true, but it really is a combination of all of these things that come together. So if we're eating right and exercise and our stress levels are really high, our body's producing cortisol and a type of hormone that just uh, really keeps our body from reaching our health goals. So high blood pressure, fatigue, depression, we're all really stressed during this holiday time and through this pandemic. and. We teach small changes yield big results. So we break down this big, scary world and we really try to just focus on how little things you can do uh, that make a big difference. Stress, for example, um, breathing deeply, spending two minutes a day, inhaling in something positive, exhaling out something negative, surrounding yourself with your favorite candle, picture of your favorite person, going to your favorite place, all of these things that just allow ourselves for a minute or two a day to really start breathing deeply, letting out some of those things in your brain that you just can't control that are not serving you well. Same with nutrition. All right, Joy. It's all about, it, it's yes. some great advice. They're, they're telling me we got to go, but I, I wanted to mention you are a fantastic author. You have some incredible stuff on your website. You can find that. We have a link to it on our website at fox2now.com. And also your Facebook page is fantastic. That is the uh, Fit and thank Food you. Connection. Joy Milner, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, John. Have a wonderful day. All Be right, well, you everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.